Hello everyone, I am back today with a all drugstore tutorial. So this makeup look was created with all drugstore products, products that are affordable and widely available to everyone. So if you want to see how to create this look with products that you can go out and grab or you might already have, just keep watching. Okay, first we are going to prime our face. And the primer that I'm using is from e.l.f. It is their mineral face primer. It's got that silicone feel, which I really like in a primer. So I'm just gonna take one pump of it. Guess it's about a pea size. Dab it on the areas that I would like. And blend out with my fingers. So for foundation, I absolutely love this drugstore foundation. It's the L'Oreal True Match Lumi or Lumi. It is called Healthy Luminous Makeup, and that's why I like it, because it is more of a dewy finish, which I love. If you are oily or you like a matte finish, you may not enjoy this as much as I do. Um, I use the warm shades, and you're probably wondering why I have to. I have to mix them because I'm special. So I have to mix the W12 with the W4. You're probably wondering why I wouldn't mix three and four, but the three just is a little more pink toned, even though it is in the warm category, which is supposed to be more yellow. And I find that the undertone of W4 is perfect. It just needs to be lighter. Therefore, I use the lightest shade in the range to kind of cut down that intensity. So I take my darker shade first, maybe put some on my hand, and then I'm gonna take the lighter shade. I kind of just do equal parts right now. In the winter, I find pretty damn pale. So I just mix them together with my finger until I see the colors are incorporated and they are a more appropriate shade. All right, then I'm just gonna dip my foundation brush into this. I always have the excess on my hand, so I usually just swipe that on my face to get rid of it. Um, this is a drugstore foundation brush. This is the Sonia Kashuk. I think, I wanna say it's called multi-purpose brush or I'm not sure what it's called, but I really like it. I will link it for you. So dip that into your foundation and then just work in buffing circular motions. Okay, now we're ready for concealer. I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in the neutralizer shade, which is the one that looks very yellow. You've probably heard a lot about this concealer. It just won, you know, one of the most popular drugstore concealers of 2014 on the beauty app Pretty In My Pocket or Primp. If you have that app, I am on it as one of the beauty experts. So I post, you know, short reviews there and looks and um, things like that. So check out Pretty In My Pocket if you don't already have that installed. Anyways, to the concealer. So this is one you twist up. You hear the little clicks and it comes out this little sponge tip. I, I really like to really brighten up this under eye, so you're probably going to laugh at how much I put on, but I will blend it out. I do have some discoloration, some redness on my eyelids as well, so I'm just going to dab a little bit left on there. Okay, we are ready to set our complexion here. I'm using the e.l.f. Mineral Blemish Powder. I don't love this, however, it was the only drugstore powder I had on hand and I wanted to be authentic and use drugstore products. So I'm just going to use a little bit of it. I'm using my EcoTools powder brush, which is another drugstore product. I'm going to dip in here, whoa, whoa. And then I'm just going to pat it on. I'm not going to, you know, dust it all over. Next, I'm going to do my blush and bronzer. And I am actually using one product to do both of those. And it is from Flower Beauty. That's Drew Barrymore's makeup line. It's sold exclusively at Walmart. So if you're like me and you hate Walmart, it is worth going there just to get this. Just grab it, get out. Um, so this has two sides. There is a matte bronzer and a matte blush. 
There's lots of different color combinations. The one I have is called Shimmering Goddess, which is so weird because it's totally matte. There is no shimmer in this. And if there was, I would not have bought it. So I'm gonna dip into the bronzer side and use it in a contouring fashion. This is not overly warm, so you can do light contouring with it. So I'm gonna start under my cheekbones and then work around the perimeter. Now we are ready to dip into the blush side. I really like this blush color. It is very pigmented, so it doesn't require a lot. And I'm using a Real Techniques blush brush. Because my life is not complete without a highlight, I'm using the Revlon Photo Ready Skin Lights. This is a liquid highlighter. I probably could have done this before I did my powder products but you know sometimes you just you're spacing out and you're in the zone and you forget what you're doing so i'm just patting that um in the top of my cheekbone or what's kind of called the orbital bone which is this little baby c shape around your eye socket and this is a really pretty drugstore highlighter if you like benefits high beam um this would be a great dupe because it's way cheaper and the texture is really nice. It's thin and it doesn't have, you know, any chunky glitter. Boop, boop, boop. Your skin is a living, breathing organism. Organism? Organ? <laughs> it's one of those. And so it should have life to it. You know, I don't love overly matte looks because that's how you look when you're dead. I'm gonna take the um, highlighter and do a little bit above my cupid's bow. I put a little dab on my nose. I do like to do this because I don't love my nose, so it does give it a little bit more of a shape instead of just looking so damn wide. Putting it down the bridge of my nose. If you have oily skin, you probably won't be doing this, this nose shenanigans I'm doing. That's okay. Okay, so I do have one exception to the all drugstore rule here. I don't think there is a drugstore brow product that I like, not nearly enough um, as the products from Anastasia Beverly Hills. You know, she's the eyebrow goddess for a reason. So let's just let her be and quit trying to duplicate it. So I've tried like Maybelline's brow pencil that I think is trying to be brow is from Anastasia. And the formula was okay. I, I felt like it broke easily. Um, and also the problem that I had with it that I have with all drugstore brow products is none of them can seem to nail the, the truly ashy brown color. They're all too warm. They make my eyebrows look red. I'm using the Brow Wiz in the color medium brown and it is super skinny. It is just divine. And there are some things in life that you just should not sacrifice on or, you know, settle for a drugstore product. It's, it's worth it. Of course, if I ever found a suitable dupe, I would let you know. I feel like NYX might be able to, to do a, a good brow pencil. I think they have a powder kit as well, so maybe that's something else that's legit. I saw a new brow product, um, well, I think CoverGirl, Maybelline, maybe both have this brow gel out right now, but as you can see, I really like to define that shape and get that nice sharpness. So with a gel, it's a little too natural for me. Okay, now I've zoomed you in even more because the eyes are what we're doing next and I want you to be able to see all of that. So. I am going to first prime my eyes with the um, Maybelline Color Tattoo in Barely Branded. This, this is um, a light shimmery ivory, so I mean it's not matte, but that's okay. So I am going to prime my eyelid mostly with that. I don't really want shimmer on my brow bone, but it's going to help shadow to um, adhere and stay on longer. I like how cheerfully I said that. Stay on longer. 
For our main lid color, I am using another eyeshadow formula that I absolutely love. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Shadows, and they're kind of little pressed pigments. They have these like little stoppers in there, and you don't want to throw it away, you want to keep it. It keeps the product pressed down in there. Um, I am using the bronzed taupe shade. They also have one called Amber Rush. It's so pretty. It's one of my favorite eyeshadows of all time out of any brand. And I just didn't want to use it because I feel like I use it way too much. So I'm going to wet a flat shader brush with e.l.f.'s um, Mist and Set spray. And then I'm going to grab some of this pigment on it and press it onto my lid. We are going to put a different color in the crease so you don't need to take it all the way up. I'm going to take the brush and just dip the very end, the flat end, into that same color and do a little bit on the lower lash line, just a little. Okay, for the crease to soften that line out, I'm not gonna leave it like that because it looks unblended and ridiculous. So I'm grabbing that bronzer again, the Flower Beauty one, and I'm just going to dip a crease brush into the bronze shade. So I'm just going to place that bronze color in the crease and work in little circular motions to lay it down and windshield wiper it out. And as you can see, it adds some warmth to the eye look, but it also creates a nicer um, top line. It's a little softer up there instead of just ending. Okay, we're ready for eyeliner. So first I'm going to use the Rimmel Scandalize Waterproof Coal Liner, and this is like the nude color which is called Nude. <laughs> um, I'm just using this on my waterline. This is one of my favorite pencils for waterlines, um, drugstore or not, if you like that um, flesh color that makes your eyes look bigger. And my eyes are kind of red for some reason today, so it, it helps to camouflage that too. Um, I'm using the Flower Beauty um, Eye to Eye Liquid Eye Liner and Volumizing Mascara. So I love the liquid liner end, it's awesome. The mascara end, uh, no. This is one of the worst mascaras ever. Don't even bother with that end. Just use the liner end and it's great. So I, I'm gonna try to do this so you can see it. It's always really hard to do liquid liner on camera, but I always draw my wing first and then I like go back in. So let's see, this eye might be easier for you to see. Hold on, I'll zoom in for you. So you can see all my mistakes close up. Back out, we're ready for mascara. I use two different mascaras, one for the top and one for the bottom. So on my bottom lashes, I use Maybelline Lash Discovery in the waterproof formula. I do that because the brush is really small and it's just perfect for those lower lashes. For top lashes, I am using L'Oreal Voluminous Miss Manga Mascara. I talked about this in my 2014 favorites, so I'll link that video now if you'd like to see why I like it. But this was a mascara that came out last year and it was very hyped up and it kind of seemed, you know, gimmicky to me and I ended up really loving it. So I am just applying that to my top lashes. I do not let my coats dry in between. There's a lot of back and forth on that. I feel like some like websites and blogs will say, you know, make sure you let each coat dry in between. I don't think so because, you know, it's like cement or clay. It's easiest to work with when it's wet. And if you let it dry, I don't know. I feel like it drags like dry, hard little clumps through when you do that second coat. Whatever works for you, honestly, but I've never, I've never let it dry. I don't know how many coats I've probably done by now. I've kind of gone out to in and in to out, back and forth. Uh, but that's just what works best for me. I gotta keep moving while it's still wet. So you certainly do not have to wear false lashes for this look. I am because I put on my 2015 beauty resolutions that I wanted to get more comfortable with applying them to myself. I have no problem applying them to others, but on myself, they just make me so mad. Like, I'm mad right now, because this one is poking right here. Um, 
And I also, I wanted to talk to you about eyelash glue very briefly. So everybody in the world recommends Duo. You've probably seen this in a thousand videos. I think we only recommend Duo because we don't have a better option. And I recently um, saw Nikki Tutorials talk about House of Lashes glue. And as soon as I get done filming this, I'm probably just going to order it because I hate this glue. Not only does it smell like fish or like dead body parts or something, um, but it doesn't even work that well. I don't think it does. I think you have to put a lot of glue. They say that you have to wait 30 seconds until it sets. Um, this is going on a minute and 20 now. So now let's see if it's finally ready because it still looks pretty damn wet to me. I don't use tweezers to do mine because I have little fingers. Okay, now that I very angrily put on my false eyelashes, I'm ready for the last step, my favorite part, which is the lips. I am using the Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm, and the color is Shameless, and this is a really cool color because it is a, a true like magenta purple. It's hard to find a shade like this that's purple enough, and this really is. So I'm going to outline my lips first and then fill them in. Um, this is the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. It has aloe, green tea, cucumber, vitamins A, C, and E. It's just a nice everyday setting spray. I don't think it compares to the Urban Decay All Nighter by any means, but it's nice. And because it's cheap, $3 I think, you can use it liberally without, you know, worrying that you're wasting your money. So just spray that all over. And our wintry drugstore tutorial is done. I think the lips are obviously the focal point of this. Um, I would describe this as kind of semi-glam. I mean, maybe it is glam. I don't know. It does have a cat eye and fake lashes, but I, I feel like the shadows are neutrals and the lips are kind of the bam. So I don't know what to call it. I just hope that you like it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please leave me some feedback below as to what you'd like to see next. I kind of guess what I think you guys want to see or I just try to film things I haven't done or challenge myself to do things like an all drugstore tutorial. But if you have some ideas, feel free to leave them below. Feel free to also subscribe. Feel free to thumbs up and do all those things. Um, thank you very much and I will see you in the next video.